So one thing that you point out, and I think it's a very cybernetic point, is that in your proposal for negotiated coordination, price changes are not necessary to provide information that changes in capacity are needed. So one thing in the in the market we have, you know, there is a shortage of supply in a certain area. Prices go up, it attracts capital in to invest, it brings down prices with competition and so on. That the price mechanism is used to essentially to push investment in different areas and direct society in a kind of a distributed and non-planned way. But you're making a very important here point here that it's really when you have the information, you don't need to use the price change to push the change. Exactly. So what I'm suggesting is that the social owners at the level of, say, investment or disinvestment, which, as I've already tried to outline, are not the same as the social owners at more local level or a less local level, the social owners would have statistical information about whether within the industry as a whole, at the current level of prices, there was order book growth because there wasn't enough capacity to satisfy demand at that price. Or alternatively, there would be overproduction because more was being produced than users wanted to buy. And if not overproduction, then spare capacity. So that would be available to decision makers and instead of that being as you say settled by changes in price capital being attracted in or moved out that would then be brought together with information supplied by the social owners who represented local localities communities if it seemed that because of the balance between order books and excess capacity the industry needed to expand or needed to contract, then the issue is to, well, where would that expansion or contraction take place? And that would then take place based upon input from the social owners representing the different localities about the needs of their locality. So if there was a shortage of jobs in that area, then it might make sense to say, well, why don't we open a new branch there if we wanted to expand capacity? If, on the other hand, there was too much capacity so that there was unused capacity, again, you'd think, well, where should we close branches or cut back on the amount they produce? And again, that would have to depend upon the characteristics of the localities in which this might or might not take place. So it would be a much richer way of thinking about the social impact of investment and disinvestment rather than just whether it would increase profits or decrease profits. So you can have coordination quantitatively or price-wise. So through market forces or through negotiation between the social owners. Right, Jay. In, in Stafford Beer's work, he calls this kind of idea of algodonics, pain signals. So yes. like, if we think about, say, inside a uh, an electric power generation unit or whatever, and you have your control panels and you have lights that flash and say, oh, this one is producing too much electricity or something. Yeah. There's no sense in which you say, well, with God, we need to increase increase the price of something so that somebody inside the generation will go and do their job there there's no need for it you have the information you can just act there seems exactly. to be there is no need to rely on price when you have information it seems to be a very fundamental point especially when when we are talking about what what you what you propose here is that the the prices of the individual goods are based upon essentially the cost price plus yes essentially yes. maybe maybe a rent where required but that there is no need to allow price to be the thing that forces the changes through the society, but actually no. directed social planning. Exactly. And if it is price, then the way in which the changes will take place will be different from if you do it on the basis of the information available and through informed discussion and negotiation about where the best place for the changes would be. 
that the outcome would be different in both cases. There'd be more social control over the second way of doing it than the first.